I think I can make a pretty compelling argument that every dysfunction in an organization or a relationship is within a couple degrees of communication or lack of communication, miscommunication, but it all comes down to communication. And communication is so vital that we have to realize that we're always communicating. Even when we're not speaking, we are communicating. And I'm not just talking about our nonverbals. I'm not just talking about tone and inflection and body language and facial expressions. I'm talking about the hidden unconscious messages that are behind everything that we do. When you delegate something to a teammate, you delegate something to Tim, what is the underlying message and unconscious message that you're telling him when you delegate something of importance? Yeah, I heard it. I believe in you. I trust you, absolutely. I know you're good enough and competent enough to get this done. Is that gonna strengthen or erode a relationship? It's gonna strengthen it. And please know that there's only two things that happen every single time you come in contact with another human being. It doesn't matter if it's been a teammate for 10 years, it's your spouse or it's someone that you've been in the elevator with for 30 seconds. Every time you come in contact with another human being, there's only two things possible. You either strengthen a human connection or you erode it. That's it. And in order to be a high performer and leaders and great at what you do, you have to work relentlessly to consistently strengthen as many human connections as possible. So we have to practice. We have to get the reps. Well, let's use that same scenario. And you delegate something to Tim, but then you either literally or figuratively stand over his shoulder and micromanage everything that he does. Every T that he crosses and every I that he dots, you micromanage. What's the unconscious message you send then? Yeah, it's the exact opposite, right? I don't believe in you. I don't trust you. In fact, you're such a moron, there's no way you'll get this right if I'm not standing right next to you. Is that going to strengthen or erode that relationship? It's going to erode it quick. It's like pulling the yarn out of the sweater. And here's the problem. It's usually done with noble intent. See, one of the things that makes you guys such high performers, and you guys, if you're in this room, you're in the upper 1%. You're so good at what you do. And you all have been spending years, many of you decades, honing and mastering specific skill sets. And with that comes a very high expectation of excellence. And the thought of passing something on to someone else and them not doing it to your standard more than likely makes your stomach turn or keeps you up at night. So I understand the reason that you would micromanage, but you need to know that you are communicating the exact opposite message. And if the goal is to create <clears throat> the type of teamwork that is a competitive advantage, then we can't have any erosions of connections. We need to make sure that every single thing we're communicating, we're communicating intentionally and with purpose. So this would be, if you know that you're a serial micromanager, this needs to be something that's out in the open and you bring up ahead of time so that the other person knows that if you start to slant that way a little bit, that that's just an old habit that you're going to work really hard to improve on. And you can consistently reinforce the fact that I do trust you, Tim. I do believe in you and I know you're going to crush this. And if you find me overstepping a little bit and breathing down your neck, just tell me to back up and I'll gladly do it because I know that you got this. And if we can create those type of relationships... And that way where, you know, delegation and the ability to utilize the brilliance in this room is a key to you all being successful. So we have to own every single message that we put out there. 